Good morning, SHS. Today is Tuesday, March 6th. Also known as National Pancake Day. I'm Calvin Ritchie. I'm Georgia Grace. And you're watching My, My Morning, morning Jacket. Jacket. Any student that is interested in the exquisitely unique scholarship, please see Ms. Shields in the counselor suite for more information. Applications are now open for the Partnership in Starkville Rotary's inaugural October Hall Young Leaders Program. If you are a current freshman and would like to apply, submit an application to octibahalyoungleaders.com. Seniors, if you want to be included in the senior video, you need to send a picture of yourself, a baby picture, and a picture of, with your friends to Ms. Peterson in the library by April 13th. The journalism staff of SHS has a new live news site at shsjackybuzz.org. If you would like to be a guest writer or photographer, please contact Ms. Hobart or Maggie Miller. We are always looking for news also. If you know of any up-and-coming event or something interesting for the Jacket Nation, let us know. Summer camp registration is open. Come to the Greensboro Center between 7.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. to return your registration forms. Registration forms will be downloaded and printed. Hard copies will be available during the registration at the Greensboro Center for anyone who wants to sign up. Hey Calvin, have you bought a yearbook yet? Not yet. Well, lucky for you, sales have been extended through March. Buy your 2017-18 yearbook from Coach Hobart in Room 100. They're $65. The SHS Choir competed in Tupelo. My Morning Jacket's Chandler Gregg has more. Starkville High School Choir competed at state competition at Tupelo High School on Wednesday, February 28th. The choir has been preparing for state contests since early September. Jordan Dobbins is the assistant director of the choir. We killed it at contest yesterday. It was awesome. Um, we have worked so hard with all of our different choirs and ensembles, and they absolutely showed out yesterday. Um, contest has, it's just one of those things that we have to do as a choir, but we also get to do. Miss Weeks has been the director of the choir for over a decade and was pleased with the progress and performance of the choir. I could not be prouder. Um, if I have to go, this is a, I like to go out in style and on top. And so it's not about me, it's about the students and their performances and they could not have done any better. I was very proud uh, to represent Starkville High School as their choral director. Uh, again, I just go back to the fact that a director can only do so much. If you don't have the quality students to perform and to accomplish what these kids have done, it doesn't matter how great the choral director is. It really comes down to the fact that it's the talent and the expertise and the knowledge of the students, and I couldn't have been prouder. The choir secured another year of straight superiors and sweepstakes, on top of being the only school in the state of Mississippi to enter a level 5 sight reading. This is Chandler Gregg with My Morning Jacket reporting from Tupelo High School. SHS Prom Sea of Dreams will take place April 14th. Prom ticket sales will take place April 4th, 5th, and 6th only. No tickets will be sold late. Start planning now. They are $30 per person and include a t-shirt. Your fees must be paid in the front office or you will not be allowed to purchase a ticket. If you are planning to take an out-of-school date to prom, you will need to pick up a form in Coach Hobart's room in room 100. Forms must be fully completed and turned in when you buy your date's ticket. If you do not have the form filled out correctly, you... With all the... Oh, I'll start there. 
If you do not have the form filled out correctly with all the proper documentation, you will not be able to buy a ticket for your date. Mr. and Miss Yellow Jacket was this past Saturday. Haley Locke was on location if you missed it. Starville High School held their annual Miss Yellow Jacket pageant March 3rd at the Greensboro Center. Contestants competed in the areas of beauty, poise, dress, and on-stage presence. From the 45 contestants, a top 12 was named. The top 12 competed in an on-stage question. A beauty was named per grade. Three alternates and Miss Yellow Jacket were named from the top 12. Other awards were photogenic, academic, and the Fergie Award for hospitality. Senior Harper Laird was recognized for winning last year's Miss Yellow Jacket pageant. Junior Cohen Hunt was awarded Mr. Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket, you know, I'm glad everybody came out and supported me, you know. Just want to thank the good Lord upstairs for helping me do this. And, uh, yeah, it was very, it was very fun to be Mr. Yellow Jacket. Class beauties named were freshman Jada O'Neill, sophomore Jasmine Baker, junior Mackenzie Johnson, senior Savannah Munn. Most photogenic was Abby Amon. The Fergie Award recipient was Emily Cartwright and Katherine Lee won the academic award. Alternates were first, Jasmine Baker, second, Jada O'Neill, third, Savannah Munn. Junior Katherine Dumas was crowned Miss Yellow Jacket. It feels great to be Miss Yellow Jacket, but I'm in total shock. There were so many great girls on this stage, and I think we all represented Starbucks to the best of our ability. This is Taylor Locke with My Morning Jacket, reporting from the Greensboro Center. And now the Lucas Elder with sports. The golf team has a home match today at Starkville Country Club against Kosciuszko, Cleveland, and Choctaw County. The Letty Jackets defeated St. Martin in the quarterfinals and will play in the semifinals Wednesday, March 7th versus Pearl at 4 p.m. The Jackets defeated Harrison Central, advancing to the semifinals Wednesday at 8.30. Both games will be played in the Mississippi Coliseum in Jackson. Baseball will play Gordo on the road tonight and at home March 8th against East Webster. Tennis team will play a home match Thursday versus Pontotoc. Now back to the booth with Calvin and Georgia Grace. My Morning Jacket would like to thank these financial sponsors of Starkville Journalism. William Wells Tire and Auto, Big Daddy Foods, Southwire, and Aaron's Appliances. It is with the support of these sponsors we are able to bring you the yearbook and broadcast. Join us in supporting these businesses if they have supported us. Catch us next time for the latest news in the Jacket Nation. Are you done? Yeah. Nope.